What's up, guys? We're finally back. Another another Edelbrock Live. We've been away for a little while. How you been, Eric? Been doing good. Just been doing the trade show thing. So I know we had just, yeah. just finished having SEMA a few yep. weeks ago, and then we're getting ready for PRI next week. So we've yeah. been kind of, unfortunately, we've been getting sucked away from doing the lives into, you know, making sure we get these events all dialed in. Yeah, I mean, it's that. been nonstop. I mean, we've been getting ready for these shows. And again, like, I'm flying out to PRI this weekend, and you're flying out, flying the out next Tuesday. Week. Yeah, yeah. So. We're going to be all over the place, but we wanted to bring it back. We want to talk about one of our newest product, which is the uh, Mustang Modular Inlet Kit. Um, so this supercharger is for the uh, 2015 to 19 Mustang. It utilizes the 2650 rotor. It utilizes the uh, DP3C, the dual pass heat exchanger as well. Um, Eric's going to go into a little detail what makes this different from the old kit. Yeah, what's, what's exciting about this was our original kit had used the stock 80 millimeter throttle body. Sorry. This new inlet has been redesigned so it allows you to use an adapter for the bigger throttle body. Uh, Eddie will get into more of the specs on that, but really exciting for us because we've got some guys in the field that have already installed this and they're making really good power. I mean, the base kit, your base stage one kit, you're making well over 600 horsepower. At the wheel. At the wheel. I mean, well over that. And then if you get into the stage two kits, you're talking high sevens, if not low, 800 horsepower with E85, a tune, you know, definitely, you know, with a shop involved, yeah. making sure you get there. But we're seeing some guys do some really amazing yeah. stuff on the track. Yeah, on the, yeah. From, on the stage two kit, um, from what I understand, it's actually emissions, le we're working on emissions, uh, the car number for this. So yes. it's gonna be 50 states legal. Yeah. It's gonna be making a little over 700 horsepower, like Eric said. Um, the great part is for those guys that really wanna push the limits, um, when you buy the stage two kit, what it actually comes with, um, what we have is actually two, two different adapters. So with this adapter, you actually just run the stock throttle body. So you just add it on to the front. But once you step up to the stage two kit, it comes with this adapter. Yeah, and and what that actually comes with is a 102, 103 millimeter throttle body. So an 80 millimeter throttle body, which is your stock one, it flows about 900 CFM. Once you step up to the stage, the stage two, 103 millimeter, you're looking at 1700 TFM. That's stout. Man. Yeah, that's, I mean, you're, that's a lot of air. So the cool part is, again, it, a lot of the stuff is the, the opening where you can do the different adapters. Um, we've seen, I just saw a video of a guy, he was actually running this, he's running mid nines with this kit. Wow. And he's making 900 and something at the wheel. Um, that's where this, this kit really shines. It's for those guys that really want to push the limits of their car. Um, I want to say that it was actually even on a stock bottom end Coyote. Yeah, I've seen, uh, we actually did a story with Muscle Mustangs Fast Forward, so they actually took this and adapted it to it. It was a 2013, so it was, gotcha. a, it was a car that was wrecked, That's and they adapted right. the late, this newer uh, setup to it, and he's making like, he was making 834 to the wheels Jeez. with an E85 tune, and that was stock bottom end and stock pulley. They hadn't even jumped into oh, really? smaller pulley. They got too <laughs> oh, crazy wow. with it, and they, but they just, that was safe. They yep. felt that was safe for the vehicle to run as a, as a you know, I think it's going to be a daily driver. It's going to be a, a street car or yep. a race car, but I mean, so that tells you right there, it hasn't even got into a small Smaller pulley hasn't yeah. even really got in and, and gone crazy with it. It's got, I think it had, they had a stock bottom end, but like stage two cams. Gotcha. You know, so it's a little, it was an aggressive setup, but man, it's really impressive what yeah. the potential of this thing is. And now with that bigger throttle body throwing oh, that yeah. much CFM with the DP3C, with the 2650, yeah. I mean, this is really, I mean, there's no reason, you know, that we, I mean, thousand horsepower is oh, not that it, far away. Well, you know? I mean, it's, it's again, it's a, the same exact rotor pack that we use on the like the LT1 kit. I know Lingenfelter built a, uh, a setup with our supercharger. Um, yeah, they're making a thousand horsepower at the wheels. Yeah. So it's that 2650 is a really good rotor pack. It, it gives you just a lot of room for growth. I mean, I've seen some guys pushing it up to 1200 horsepower on a 2650. So yeah. again, it's the same setup, but the great part about our kit is you actually get the the DP3C, which is, you know, that's that's our our own patented system where it actually cools the the charge there twice. So you get those low intake air temperatures, which means more horsepower, you know, and all that stuff. So yeah, it's pretty good. No, definitely, it's a nice. I guess it's a really good setup. Um, yeah, and it's nice and compact too, so it fits under the stock hood of the vehicle. Absolutely. You know, and like all of our other kits, it's a complete kit. So it's got everything you need to do the install from beginning to end. Um, no, you know, there's no cutting, no welding, preformed hoses. That's the main um, thing too. A yeah. Lot of, a lot of our competitors, they'll give you a spool of hose and <laughs> you have right. to sit there and roll, you know, you have to route it everywhere, put some yeah. zip ties, hopefully it does, all stays. All our stuff is OEM spec, so it's all preformed hoses. You know, we use a Bosch uh, water pump, so it's a separate water system for yeah. the actual heat exchanger. And it's actually a self-contained oil system as well. Yeah. And it's, what is it, 100,000 uh, mile 
uh, interval change. So every 100,000 miles, you change the oil in the back, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so it's a great it's maintenance system. Maintenance free. It, that's pretty much all it is. And uh, this, so the part number for your 2018 to 19 Mustangs is part number 15832, and that would be the with tuners. That yep. comes with the emissions legal tune, ready to go. Um, and then we'd all also offer that in a no tuner version, which is yep. really for the, the tuner shop that's going to go stage three or for a shop where you've got, you know, you've got consumers just going to install it and they don't want the tuner because they're never going to convert back. So yeah. it's just like, okay, so for a shop that wants to just plug in the tune and go and the guy doesn't need the handheld, we've got that available. So the base kit starts out at uh, $6,899 your, your with the tuner and then your non-tuner version is $603. $6,300, yep. so cheaper because you're not getting you know the tuner with it. But exactly. So yeah, it's really, I mean, to yeah. me it's really affordable. Uh, the cool thing about it too is we just recently dropped the price on right. these kits and if you purchase something like this between now and the end of the year, we're actually doing a $500 rebate too. So all of our supercharger systems have a $500 rebate that so you can just take that 688 and knock that down to 6300 <laughs> for the full go. complete kit. With so, the tune, yeah. Yeah, exactly. with the tune. So I mean, it's yeah. a really... I mean, it's, it's the right time of the year to upgrade to a supercharger. Exactly. You know, Again, that Edelbrock supercharger that is. That's right. And uh, one of the other key features as well, just to point it out, is the way that we design this. It gives the, the guy the opportunity. So if, uh, I, I barely learned this yesterday, is that for the guy that actually wants to do his own style throttle body or anything, it, it's, all, it's all squared up. So you could actually do a, like a sheet metal adapter. So for okay. a guy that has a, a, a different kind of throttle body that he wants to run, you know, by all means, it's all there. But nice. again, the, the stage two, <laughs> one of the good parts as well, I believe it actually comes with a fuel pump and it actually comes with an eight rib conversion setup cool. for the drivetrain. So, the, you know, you need that extra two ribs. Put down or, some belt slip. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you're pushing over 800, <laughs> you know, seven, eight, 900 horsepower, you're going to get a little belt slip. So that eight, you know, eight rib conversion actually really helps. Cool. We got any uh, questions on No, them? just got all uh, positive comments, which is awesome. Well, thank you guys. You know, we were definitely getting, like I said, they've got these installed on there vehicles and they love them so yeah, yeah we can't we're not going to disagree with you we, yeah. we love it too I mean this is I think by far this is I mean I've been with the company long enough to where I watch this program launch yep. and this is by far one of the best superchargers I think we built to date and that's why we're going to kind of follow this formula through yep. with a lot of our other platforms um, because it just is it's a really good I and mean, it's, it's like I said like Eddie said you know the combination of the rotor pack the, the intercooler, it just, yeah. it's a really, and it's a compact design. Like it looks big here, but really in the vehicle, it fits under the stock hood of a Mustang, yep. of a, actually we have it for, a, not this yet, but coming for F-150. Um, yep. Uses a similar system. I don't think it has the big front end on it. Yeah. A little bit different, but again, it's just a really compact design. So yeah. I mean, it's, I, it's, like I said, it's, I wish I had it for my truck. My <laughs> yeah. truck has the old design, so yeah. it's like, man. Exactly. <laughs> Well, if you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to just leave them in the comments. And uh, if you guys have any, you know, requests for future topics, go ahead and leave them in the comments as well. And we'll try to, um, next week we're actually going to be at PRI. So me and Eric are going to try to do some live uh, streams actually from the show. So if you guys have anybody that you guys want to see or, you know, we're going to hopefully visit as many people as possible. Maybe some of the outlaw guys, you know, that run our product. Yeah. So, you know, we'll try to see what we could do. If you guys have any questions or concerns, uh, go ahead and leave a, you know, Comment in the, in the comments. Awesome, yeah. All right. Take care, guys.